Okay, so we have this particular ring here, um, which if we try to Boolean this together, and it doesn't matter which Boolean we use, we can go to Boolean Union here, the dynamic one, and select the, uh, the first surfaces, enter with the second ones, and it's not going to work. Um, yeah, you're just going to get something like this happening, which fails all the time. You can also try, if we scroll along in the um, in the solid menu, the other Boolean union, the non-dynamic Boolean union, and we can select both of these and hit enter, and it's going to give us the exact same result, Boolean union failed. The reason for that is that we probably have some naked edges on this guy here. So to check that, we're going to go to our analyze menu, and we're going to go to the edge tools here. Show edges, and these pink highlights here, if we uh, just wireframe all of this, you can see what we have is a series of uh, naked edges here, and it tells you that we've got naked edges. It also says down in the command line that we have six naked edges. Uh, so we have to fix those first. Now, just because you fix naked edges doesn't mean it's uh, going to guarantee that you're going to be able to bully in something, but at least if you haven't got any naked edges, you'll be able to use something like the mesh repair tool. So I'm going to go to edge tools and we're going to select our join two naked edges option there. Zoom in and you'll see we've got one and two. You get this message coming up saying, yes, we want to join those. Right click to bring back that last tool and again with those guys there. And then we have a couple of naked edges, just these little guys here. So we're going to right click to bring back that last tool and select that one there and that one there and hit OK to that. That'll get rid of all your highlights and uh, we should hopefully have no other naked edges anywhere around this piece, which it doesn't look like we do. It's, nothing's highlighted pink, so it's all good to go. So we can shut that down. Now, as I said, just because we've gotten rid of the naked edges doesn't guarantee that we're going to uh, be able to Boolean union or difference or even intersect uh, this particular piece, but let's give it a shot and see how we go. So we're going to go to solid. I'm not going to worry about the dynamic Boolean uh, tools. I'm just going to scroll all the way uh, to my standard Booleans. So Boolean union, select both of my pieces and hit OK to that. And nope, Boolean union failed. Now, um, you know, you could run a, an edge test on this particular piece here. It's probably not going to give us anything, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, so we'll go to edge tools, show edges and select this guy here. Anything that happens to be a naked edge is going to show up highlighted uh, that, that pink color and nothing's there. So we've got no naked edges there. It tells us that in the command line. So it's certainly not that particular piece. But being that we are right at the end of our designing journey and really all we need to do is ensure that the sprue and the ring are together and watertight, what we can do is we can go to our manufacturing tab and select both of these pieces here and click on mesh repair. What that's going to do is it will uh, mesh, uh, repair any of the, uh, the uh, particular parts and uh, create a watertight mesh, which will be a, an STL file. And then you'll be able to export this out as an STL file and into your printer software. Uh, we know that, that it's worked there because it's given us this, this, uh, this kind of bluey purple kind of um, preview here. And we can hit uh, OK to that. And that gives us this, which as you can see, we have our sprue all attached. This is a watertight mesh and uh, you should be able to export that out and, uh, and print that off. Alright, I hope that helps.